All right, guys, back with another video today on the uh, GTX 170. We're going to be installing the bilge pump today. So the bilge pump install for this ski is going to be this part right here. Comes in this nice BRP Everything box. You need to install. So you have the bilge pump with the wires. You have the strap to strap it down and it comes with your zip ties to tie back the cabling along the inside as well as what comes with every BRP product the instructions where you have to go to this website and you'll be able to pull up the instructions for this exact install and you'll be using this part number the 295-100739 Alright, so you're going to start off the back, pop off the seat, now on all the newer models they have this cover that goes over the engine bay. There is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Total of 17 screws that have to come out. Excuse me, 16 screws that have to come out. And then these screws up front, they do have lock nuts underneath them, so please make sure you do not drop them into the hull of your ski. Underneath the engine, uh, it just takes forever to get them out and magnets do not work. All right, so for the bolts, or excuse me, the nuts underneath here, you use a 10 millimeter. You have a star bit. And we are going to loosen. There's also a washer with it. Luckily, that dropped right on top of the engine. Alright, as you can see, down here below all the hoses and the steering cable you'll find the mounting bracket for the bilge pump you're going to pull out this baler hose here uh, you're going to measure the baler hose using pretty much the length of this uh, so from this point to here you're going to measure and then cut that line so we're going to do that now Take out this excess tube you no longer need. So now you've right sized the tube so it goes directly into the pump, which will then take it directly out. And it'll take you out the outlet there.
All right, guys, that is done. Installed, haven't tied the wire down completely yet. We're gonna test it out, make sure everything works. Fuse box closed back up. All you gotta do, key in. That is the sound of a working pump. That pump's gonna run no matter what, uh, whether there's water in the bilge or not. So, Everything is good to go. Everything is looking good. Go ahead and cut that. And once our dash turns off and everything powers down, the pump should power down as well.